practice makes permanent. There is no such thing as perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect person, a perfect submissive, a perfect dominant. Practice makes permanent, though. It's like muscle memory. So the first spanking scene is likely going to feel awkward. The 50th spanking scene is not. Okay? So that's what you have to understand. Practice makes permanent. Just because you feel like an imposter now or like you're struggling with confidence now, it's temporary. The more you practice, the more that's going to grow. The more confidence is going to grow. Okay? So practice makes permanent. That's the first one. Second one is I would start with toys or play that you feel confident with. Like do not stretch yourself when you're building confidence. Do not stretch. You want to set yourself up for success here. So if you only have two paddles that you love and you feel super comfortable with, then use those. If you have bondage gear, uh, under the bed bondage gear, let's just say that because it's very newbie friendly. Under the bed bondage gear, you're really comfortable with putting your submissive in that. But you don't know what the heck you're doing when it comes to rope. Stay away from that. Don't push yourself. Set yourself up for success. Start slow. Start with what you feel proficient in. I would also say to kind of mentally script the scene ahead of time. Okay, so the more preparation you have, the better. It doesn't mean literally script and, and do stage blocking or anything like that if you have a theater background. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm simply saying script it in your head. So if you know that this is supposed to be a cathartic spanking scene, then play it out. Lay down. Close your eyes. Think about how is your submissive going to approach you? How are you going to start the scene? How are you going to cue the submissive that the scene has started? How are you going to lead them through the cathartic spanking? Like literally play it out in your mind. Play it out because you're giving yourself an opportunity to, to plan mentally your next step when you do that. And when you're doing that, you also want to troubleshoot potential problems. Okay? So let's say you're going through this in your mind. You're planning it out. You got the submissive over your knee. You're doing a cathartic spanking, and they call their safe work. <gasps> What are you going to do? How are you going to troubleshoot it? It's giving yourself additional preparation so you won't feel like this is the first time I've done this. I don't know what my options are. I don't know where to move. I don't know how to navigate. Okay, so really just give yourself prep time. Slow down, close your eyes, think it through. Okay. Uh, troubleshoot any foreseeable obstacles. And I would also say, just from another practical standpoint, present yourself in a way that makes you feel awesome. In a way that makes you feel powerful and sexy and dominant and badass. Is there a way that you do your hair or your makeup or a pair of shoes or boots or an outfit? Is there anything that when you walk in it, when you talk in it, you talk different, you walk, you feel different about yourself. That's how I want you to show up in this scene is wearing something, presenting yourself in a way that you feel like mama is here now. You know, I am taking up space. I'm not intimidated by my submissive. I'm not intimidated by the fact that they may have more experience. I'm here now, and it's on my turn. Okay, so that's, um, that's the next one. Uh, so remember, practice makes permanent. Start with things you're comfortable with, familiar with. Script the scene ahead of time. Troubleshoot any foreseeable obstacles. Present yourself in a way that makes you feel powerful and confident. Okay. Okay.